this experience so far this year, I can easily say it's the most fun I've had playing baseball my whole life. If I would have came here when I was a freshman, like there's, I, there's no telling what could have happened. So, I mean, I'm glad I'm here now, but I wish it would have been sooner, if anything. You can't really compare it from everything, like the, the technology we have, the weight room access, like little things like the weight room. We shared a weight room at Kent. It was like we had to share it with every team in the university. So just little things like having your own weight room is just a huge jump from there to here. You've talked a lot about the detailed scouting reports from Coach Thompson and how that gives you a great chance to know what these pitchers are doing. Just walk me through what that's like. For me, it's the heat maps. So when we get the paper, it shows like the red areas or where they're like their tendencies are to throw it. And then we get like count breakdowns, like, oh, oh they're 50-50 fastball slider or something like that. So it, are, it already cuts out two pitches for me. So it just, I think little things like that give me an advantage that I haven't had the past few years that I've been playing. It's got to be exciting, right? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Especially with the competition we're facing, anything to get that extra edge is definitely a huge help. Coach Thompson's helped me a lot with my swing and using my legs. Like, I haven't really had a hitting coach other than my dad for my whole life, to be honest with you. So, getting here, I learned more in 10 minutes here than I have in the last five years about hitting. And I think it's been a huge help for me, um, especially from a power standpoint. I've always kind of felt like I was a stronger guy and that there was some power in there that wasn't unlocked yet, and I think that Coach Thompson's definitely helped me with that. My approach is to hit a line drive to the shortstop. It always has been. Even with the developing power now, I'm still thinking the same thing, but I'm a little bit more on time and use my legs a little bit more if they do make a mistake in. Michael comes from an athletic family. His sister played softball when he was at Kent State. Both of them got in the portal last year, and she ended up at Youngstown State. Even though they are miles apart now, the two will still lean on each other for support. Sometimes she gets hard on herself just like I do, and it's kind of like we have that relationship where we can just tell each other, like, look, you need to relax a little bit. So, I mean, if she had a rough game or if I had a rough game, like, it's she's pretty easy to talk to, and I think that she thinks I'm easy to talk to about something like that and get our mind back on the right path. Michael's dad played eight years of professional baseball. He will watch every game his son plays and call him afterwards with some tips. I've gotten in the habit of going back and watching our games after our game, every single game now. So. I try to get his input and then I'll listen to him and I'll go back and watch and see if I agree with him or disagree with him and then we'll just kind of talk and see what we saw. But I think everything looks a little bit different on TV. Um, he sees some things that I don't really think about during the game and it, it kind of helps me develop throughout the process. Part of that process is playing in front of some of the best fans in college baseball. It's something that Michael has gotten used to. You just feel like a celebrity at the college level. They make you feel like you're already made it to the high school the big leagues. Like after the game, even if you lose, like there's still little kids down there trying to get your autograph. And you don't find that at any other level. From where I'm from, that's that's unheard of, man. I was just going to the locker room, go home, shower. But here it's like, you gotta leave an extra 35 minutes to get all these kids, man. I'm not gonna leave any of them hanging. Hopefully some of those kids will be watching this current Razorback play professional baseball in the near future. Obviously, we've seen you catch. We've seen you play the corners. We know you can do that. We know you've got a professional approach. I mean, you, you have a lot to offer at that next level, right? Yeah, I'd like to think so. Um, yeah, I think I can play those three positions pretty well. I'm still super comfortable with the corners. Um, I think uh, left-handed hitting catcher is still something that people look for. So, I mean, I'm just looking for that chance at this point. It's been my dream my whole life. That's what I work for every day. So if I'm lucky enough to get that chance, I'll take full advantage of it.